This is Timmy. He's grinding through obscure AI concepts that have no real world application. And this is Peter. He focuses on the concepts that actually matter in interviews, the ones that land him high paying offers at 200k and above. Timmy stays broke. Peter becomes a millionaire in just a few years of smart investing. If you want to be like Peter, here are five AI ML concepts that could make you a millionaire. First up, reinforcement learning. Timmy is deep diving into AI algorithms that no company cares about. About. Meanwhile, Peter is learning RL, one of the hottest topics in AI. Why is RL important? It's how AI learns through trial and error, like how AlphaGo mastered Go, and how many self-driving cars get better over time. And guess what? A ton of AI startups are applying RL to optimize trading, improve supply chains, and even train robots. Ever heard of OpenAI's robotics team training a robot to solve a Rubik's Cube? That's RL in action. Many companies are looking for candidates that understand RL because it's directly tied to innovation. That's why Peter aces interviews, and that's why Timmy gets hit with, we'll get back to you. Second, graph neural networks. Timmy thinks AI is just about feeding data into a model, but Peter understands that relationships between data points matter. That's why GNNs are game changers. Think about LinkedIn recommending new connections, drug discovery, discovering fraud in banking. These all rely on graph neural networks. Many startups are using GNNs to uncover hidden patterns in data that traditional models miss. For example, Uber uses graph neural networks to optimize routing. Fraud detection companies use them to flag suspicious transactions. If you understand how GNNs work, you can solve a lot of interesting problems and get paid well for it. Third, few shot and zero shot learning. Timmy thinks AI needs mountains of data to work, but Peter knows that few shot and zero shot learning let pre-trained models perform pretty well with just a little more data. Why does this matter? Imagine you're building a chatbot for a startup, but you only have a handful of customer support transcripts. Instead of manually labeling thousands of examples, you can use few shot learning and let the model learn from just a few examples in context. GPT models use zero shot learning to answer questions on topics they've never seen before. Companies love this because they don't always have massive data sets. If you understand this concept, you can literally help companies save time and money. All right, number four, the self-attention mechanism. See, poor Timmy doesn't get why modern AI models are so powerful, but Peter knows that the self-attention mechanism is why LLMs like ChatGPT and Gemini work so well. This is what allows transformers to focus on the meaningful parts of the input. Without it, we wouldn't have models that can write code, generate text, and even create images. Almost every AI startup today relies on LLMs and therefore relies on self-attention. If you walk into an interview and can confidently explain how transformers use this mechanism, you will stand out. All right, number five on our list, you may have expected, it's fine tuning. Poor Timmy thinks AI engineers build models from scratch all the time. But Peter knows that in the real world, fine tuning is a lot more common. Whether it's finance, education, or healthcare, fine tuning lets companies adapt models to specific domains. If you can fine tune models, you can build LLMs for any industry. For example, a startup is not going to train a language model from scratch. They would fine tune a model like GPT to fit their domain. This is why AI engineers who understand fine tuning are in such high demand. All right, next you might be wondering wondering what papers to focus on. If you want to understand generative AI, you've got to read papers. But papers can be really confusing, so that's why I created a video covering which sections to read and which sections you can just skim over. Here's my video on the top five generative AI papers. Check it out. You don't want to miss it. And of course, don't be a TensorFlow Timmy.